What did the real Jane Austen look like? Jane Austen was an English writer born in 1775. The only reliable image of Jane is a watercolor painted by her sister Cassandra in 1810. Although Cassandra was not a professional artist, she depicts some of the key facial features fairly well, like the thin and long nose, the thin lips, and the somewhat rounded face. This little portrait, or sketch, show us that Jane had brown eyes and curled brown hair in her fringe, in the fashion of the time. Her key facial features are resemblant of the features of some of her, her relatives, of whom we have more detailed portraits or even photos. For example, this is Jane Austen's niece, Fanny Knight, when she was older. These are her brothers, Charles, Francis, and Henry. A wax figure of Jane has been made a few years ago, and it seems to quite rely on these family features, although I think the real face would be more rounded, more soft, as stated in a contemporary description by James Austen, one of Jane's nephews. He provides an eyewitness description of his aunt. In person, she was very attractive. Her figure was rather tall and slender, her step light and firm, and her whole appearance expressive of health and animation. In complexion, she was a clear brunette with a rich color. She had full round cheeks, with mouth and nose small and well-formed, bright hazel eyes and brown hair forming natural curls close round her face. If not so regularly handsome as her, her sister, yet her countenance had a peculiar charm of its own to the eyes of most beholders. The physical attributes of a historical figure are not so relevant when we think of the greatness of one's achievements. In spite of that, we feel drawn to see or to imagine people's faces. Looking at an old artist's face or trying to depict them may be a moving tribute. Some well-known images of Jane are, in fact, brushed drawings or paintings based on the Cassandra's sketch. They look like they were overworked to see more polished. In this process, the facial features kind of lost some of its original appeal and even her eyes appear to be white. A painting known as the Rice Portrait is believed by some to be a portrait of the rare Jane when 13, but this is not formally accepted as the painting seems to date to the early 19th century.
The clothes I chose to illustrate it are here Ali Spencer, a type of short jacket or coat in trend at the time, and a light neck scarf beneath the Spencer. I opted to portray Jane's hair without the cap she used to wear, showing curved locks at the front and wave not so curled hair at the back of the hair. Some strands of Jane's real hair remains as parts of in memoriam lockets. These strands are somewhat discolored, so they probably don't match exactly the real hair color. In her sister sketch, Jane's hair seems to be more medium to dark brown, like her browns, they are almost black or a brownish black.